Today I have come with another new and exciting chapter that is chapter number 3 Light, Sound and Force. Here we are going to study about three topics that is light, sound and force. Okay, by the end of the chapter you are going to learn that identify some sources of light, okay? describe how shadows are formed, explain how we see objects, describe how sound is produced, state the relationship between force, work and energy. Number one point, light. You get light from the sun. You also get light from an electric bulb. Things that give out light are called sources of light. Okay? You might see uh, sun in the morning or afternoon. In the daytime, we, we can see the sun and it gives us light. Okay? Same like that, the electric bulb. Okay? It also produces some energy inside the bulb and gives light and it makes the room light. Okay? Light is very important. You can see things only when there is light. Plants can make food only with sunlight. Light is very important. Uh, daytime with the help of the sun, we can do any kind of work. We can play, we can read, okay? But during night, we cannot see clearly, okay? That is why it is very difficult for you, for me, for everyone to get to work at night without light. So we need the light very much. And plants also they need the sunlight to prepare their own food. Without the sunlight, they cannot make their food. If the plant doesn't make their food, the plant is going to die. <clears throat> and if the plant dies, that means we human beings we are not going to get any oxygen, and we are also going to die along with the plants. Shine a torch on a wall. Now move away from the wall. The lighted area gets larger and less bright. Okay. You can do it at home. You, uh, you take a torch light, okay, and after that you put on a torch and you sign it on the wall, okay, at night. And when when you stand near the wall, after you light the torch, you can see that it is the lighted area, okay, the lighted area is bright. But when you go you move away from the wall, okay, the lighted area, that means the lighted area gets larger, bigger in size okay then uh, and it lessens the brightness of the torch in the same way the sun shines from far away and spreads its light all over the earth okay the torch light can shine only few part or few area very small area but the sun is covering the whole world okay the whole globe and it is giving light to the people to everything what is whatever is present on the earth Next page. Okay, point number two. Shadows. Sign a torch on a wall again. This time, hold a book between a torch and a wall. You can see the shadow of the book and your hand on the wall. It is the same of the shadow, the same as that of the book. Okay. When you hold, when you hold a torch light, when you light a torch light, after that. You put a book in front of the torch, okay, facing towards the wall. And when you when you put on the torch, you can see that the shape of the book is formed on the wall. Why? Because the light is covered by the book. Okay, it is not allowing the light to pass through the book and hit the wall. Okay, that is how shadows are formed. A shadow is formed when something blocks the part of light. Your hand, a toy, and a book blow light. Some things allow light to pass through them. Glass lets light pass through them. Okay? The book, your book. The book does not allow the light to pass through it. But there are some objects like uh, a plastic scale or a glass. They are called transparent objects. That means light can pass through them. Okay? Both ways. From that side also, from this side, from any side. The light can pass through it. <clears throat> now, how do you see things? How do we see things by our eye? You need light to see things. You can see things that give out light, such as lighted candle or a lighted electric bulb. Okay? A lighted candle we can see very clearly because of because there the candle is giving light, brightness to our eye. Okay, bulb. If you put on the bulb, we can see everything inside the room. Okay, then you can see the bulbs. Okay, now put an apple 
does not, but an apple does not give out light. How do you see the apple? When light from the sun or an electric bulb falls on the apple, it bounces off. When this bounce light falls on your eyes, you can see the apple. Okay? The apple is not a source of light. That is why we cannot see in darkness. But if we put under a lamp or under a light, okay, we can see that the rays of the light is going through, going and hitting the apple. And the rays which is hitting the apple is coming back to the to our eye. And we can see the apple very clearly. Now, second point, number two is sound. Okay. The world around you is noisy. You can hear cars moving, music playing, and dogs barking. Some sounds are pleasant. The sound of a guitar are pleasing to the ears. But some sounds are annoying. Loud and unpleasant sounds called noise. We can hear many kinds of we, we hear many kinds of sound. But some sounds are very pleasing and it's very nice to hear. Like uh, playing a flute, playing a guitar, it's melodious. Okay, that is why when we hear, we like it very much. But some annoying sound that is like we don't like it. Like a uh, uh, bell, okay, then horn, okay, and uh, grinder, something many other which is very unpleasant to our ear. Okay. Now force. Point number three force. Force and energy. Lift a book. Why does it move? It moves because you pull the book towards you. Open the window. Why does it move? It moves because you push it away from yourself. Okay. You keep a book on a table Okay. After that, you lift the book from the table like this. Then you push. Okay. You when someone says, "Hey, open the door, open the window," you have to push the window or the door to open. That means you are applying force here. When you are lifting the book also, after that, when you are trying to open the window, also. that means two type of things are there. That is pull. Okay, pull and push. Okay. A pull or a push is called a force. Now, things move when you pull or push them. This pull or push is called a force. Force can move things. If something is heavy, you use more force to move it. You use less force to move light things. When do you move something? When you move something, you do some work. Your muscles need energy to do work. Where do you get this energy from? You get energy from food. Okay? Anything, anything we do, okay, we need energy inside our body so that we can work, we can play, we can think, we can write, we can do any activities. And food is very important, very essential for our body. We need energy, okay, to think also, to study also, to read also, to work also, to pull also, to push also. And if the thing is a little bit heavy, okay, then we apply more force on it to pull it up or to lift it okay from where does a car get the energy to move it gets energy from petrol or diesel a battery operated toy car gets energy from the batteries in it okay now from where does a car get its energy there uh, the car gets energy from the petrol or diesel okay it moves with the help of the petrol and diesel but a toy car it moves with the help of a battery but for us for we human being we need food okay we need food so that it can the food can give us energy and we can do many activities okay so light number one okay number two sound number three force light means the sun is an object which gives light Secondly, bulb also gives light to us. Okay, sound. There are many kinds of sound. Some are very pleasing. Some are very annoying. That means we don't like to hear at all. And number three is force. Okay, a push or a pull is called a force. That means you have to apply a little force. Okay, you have to apply a little force when you do some small things. But when you are going to lift a heavier thing or bigger thing, you need to apply more force. Okay. So, in the next chapter, 
we are going to study about another chapter, another new and exciting chapter. Okay? Bye. Stay home. Stay safe. Do it for self. Do it for your family. Do it for India. Let's break the chain of COVID-19. Hum hoge kamyab jai hain. Hum hoge kamyab jai hain. Hum hoge kamyab jai hain.